Hello YouTube and welcome back in Flight Sim. Today we are back in the DCS World Mission Editor and we're going to be looking at how we can set up uh, our aircraft flight formations. Uh, this is also applicable to other assets like ground-based assets and so on, but I'm going to show you how to do it with airborne assets um, and then you can have a play about yourself. So let's go ahead and select our aircraft and let's use some F-15Cs today. Let's set them up here and we're just going to set them up at 10,000 feet. 400 knots which is fine and for formation flying obviously we need more than one aircraft so we'll go ahead and have three so when we first spawn in the formation that we want them to be in we're going to go down here to add set option formation and then select whatever formation we want out of that uh, out of that list. So we'll start, we'll just keep it simple for start, we'll go with echelon right and we'll keep it nice and tight, close group. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another waypoint. So they're going to go to, come to waypoint one, that's that, and then they're going to come to waypoint two. Once they get to waypoint two, I want them to change their formation, so I'm going to go formation and let's make them go echelon left. Close group. There you go, like, just like that. And then we'll have them carry on down here. It's important to remember, or to note at least, when you're changing, uh, switching formations, is to give them enough time um, to formate up into that formation you've selected. Um, if you want them to look pretty, obviously. If you're not bothered, then uh, yeah, don't care. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. So then after waypoint three, uh, we'll come down here to waypoint. Four, and then at waypoint four, we'll go ahead and let's select wedge. Close group again, just like that, and they can carry on. Okay. So let's go ahead and look and see how that's going to work out, shall we? And we should be echelon right, then echelon left, and then uh, wedge. So you can see, look. Nope, gone. The AI act is so great. So, echelon right, close group. That's great. At the next waypoint, they should switch to echelon left. There we go. Next waypoint, switch into echelon left. You can see. Number three there is taking his time getting into formation. And once we get to the next waypoint, I think it was, um, it should change to wedge. Just speed things up. Any minute now. There we go. He's dropping back. And it should drop into his wedge position any minute now. He says, I'll spin at the next waypoint. There we go. I'm dropping into wedge. And there he is. And then they're in wedge. And a simple formation. And that's how you, we change formations in DCS Mission Editor. <laughs> Um, obviously just have a play about with it yourself, see which formations work best for you in given scenarios and uh, just have fun. I hope you found that useful. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, please pop them down below. If you have any uh, ideas for tutorials you'd like to see, again, please pop them down below. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Until next time, I'll just see you later. Bye.